Meantime, Senators John Cornyn and Ted Cruz stopped in Austin to provide some details of their meeting with the president on Thursday. They say the shutdown will not end until there is compromise. Fox 7 Austin's Bridget Spencer has the details. The position of the Democrats is and remains hell no. They won't compromise. They won't talk. They will insist the government is shut down so long as even one penny is allocated to building a border physical barrier. Senators Ted Cruz and John Cornyn said in a visit to Austin Friday that the president is trying his best to find a solution to the government shutdown and secure the border at the same time. The two visited with Trump during his Texas stop Thursday. We flew down with him on Air Force One, spent most of the trip talking about border security, talking about the common sense steps we need to take to, to secure the border to protect Texans. We need to see compromise. We need to see people coming and seeking common ground. I can tell you the president has said repeatedly he's more than happy to compromise. The two provided their insights during a Texas Public Policy Foundation event. They stand firm behind the president's stance and want to allocate money to build a wall. However, Cornyn says don't touch disaster relief money. I will oppose any reprogramming of Harvey disaster funds. Uh, we have worked very hard to make sure that the victims of Hurricane Harvey are uh, uh, addressed, their concerns are addressed, and, and Texas is able to rebuild. Cruz says the best way to pay for it, pass his bill called the El Chapo Act. Take money criminally forfeited from El Chapo and other drug lords and use their billions to build the wall. You could do that without spending a penny of taxpayer money. There are a lot of ideas on what it takes to end the shutdown. But until both sides can compromise, the 800,000 furloughed Americans are left as collateral damage. Bridget Spencer, Fox 7 Austin News.